It's going great. You know, if I can point with my Nobody in my office. I can Send it to Chris Mark. He has that link. <laughs> okay. Become the change. All right. We were talking 
about you. So I'll just Great. I'll be changing shortly after you guys do it. <laughs> anyway, we're talking. Okay. So we have any visitors here today? I kind of looked through there, didn't see any visitors, but it looks like a pretty good crowd. So that's great. Nice to see you, Mike. Yeah. So <clears throat> um, birthdays. So we have a couple of birthdays. Joel Engstrom, who I don't think is here, January 16th, and Jim Steinrich, January 17th. I don't know, I guess it's Tracy. And then we have, uh, let's see what we have here on the back. <clears throat> we have anniversaries. Join date, we have the infamous Jim Hagen, January 15th, 1989. Wow. Yeah, waking up, putting on a bed that he might not have a shirt on, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Then we have Angie Haynes, January 17th. I guess you don't know. So that's all, all for that. <clears throat> yes. My Tesla is three years old. Oh, <laughs> today? Does it know your name? <laughs> yeah. That is yeah. no runner. <laughs> okay, good. Like that. Uh, excellent. <clears throat> so with that, we'll kind of get into, uh, let's see here. Any announcements you want to talk about how Martin Luther King went? Did he show up? I love it when you point to me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Chris Jacobson and Rachel Warner sat at our table along with my husband and my two kids. Uh, <coughs> lots of folks spoke and gave us um, great inspiration. And it was a really beautiful morning. Yeah. Cool. And, then, and that was the Friday morning. And then the Monday morning, um, uh, our social responsibility was to um, show up and I arranged uh, beautification of the neighborhood of Everett. Oh, cool. So we had over... Um, Probably 70 volunteers collected mm -hmm. garbage and we picked up almost half a ton of litter around the neighborhood. Wow. In Everett? Yeah, in Everett. Downtown Browns. Everett or South Everett? Or um, South Mid Everett, Mid Everett, yeah. yeah. I think Martin Luther King said, like, you know, we, we can just, one man can't do it all, right? And so much is accomplished with, with mm -hmm. more people. And, and that was really demonstrated. Yeah, it was really good one. That's pretty um, cool. I'd like to see people. You know, go down the alleys and stuff, and you know, get because it's kind of a scary place when it's dusk and it gets dark at night, and then there's garbage. So it'd be kind of neat if the city could do something about that. Now we know what you do at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't talk about my house like that. Scary as hell. Where's the cop when you need an alley? Okay, so treasurer's report. Uh, Okay. It's a, a question, Mr. Treasurer. <clears throat> um, when will the bills go out for dues or invoices or something? I know um, that's a tough subject. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Um, I just need to wear uh, away who actually owes, and then I've already got names and addresses in the QuickBooks. Okay. How much is it? Others. No, of course, if you've already paid and you can pay today, you can write a check, cash. Do we have the credit card thing set? Today? I don't have the credit card thing, but there probably is one back there. Okay. So, uh, Venmo is fine. You can Venmo, just make a notation in there, it's for dues, and you can pay cash today, or I think the credit card thing's available, maybe. or. Okay. Yes. Is the 150 with the optional 50? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And the optional 50 is for Paul Harris. Your house. <laughs> so the dues are 150 to the club. And then the residual amount up to 200 is for Paul Harris. So that's $50. Or <coughs> you can do more. Yeah, you can yeah. do more. Yeah. And you can maybe do 25. Yeah. Just a little clarification as far as uh, the dues, why they haven't gone out. Uh, Jack is setting up a different system. We've used Club Runner in, in the past, uh, and I've been doing that. And Jack and I are working together so that he does everything on QuickBooks. It can be 
and everything can be exported out of uh, Club Runner to QuickBooks. We're working on that. Um, and once we get our two computers set up and, and running, we'll be able to do this. And he'll be able to invoice us for everything that we do. In the past, we haven't done that. And so that was the thing that we've been working on. And uh, it'll get done. It's just a little bit later this time. So just know 150, and the dues are from Jan 1 to June 30th, and $50 is optional. Or as James said, if you want to give 100, 200, 300, want to buy a Tesla, you can do that. <laughs> you can Tesla. Tesla. Yeah, you can do that too. Club Tesla. You can't buy mine. <laughs> Same. Still worth more. And so that'll come through uh, email with an attachment invoice. Um, or that's how it was to start. Just on that drain. That's yeah. That's the way we do it. Yeah. Well, the and. invoice is going to come through email because if we want to do it that way, out of QuickBooks, we have to pay more Extra. of our QuickBooks invoice through email. So it'll probably just come through. So how do we? Email. Uh, or, oh, or okay. Email. U.S. mail. When did y'all just Venmo the? the yeah, I just did the full amount. Yeah, just I just Venmo it. Yeah, like yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like Venmo is awesome. Just very buddy Venmo. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Secretary's report. Jerry. All right. We had a good board meeting last night. Uh, one thing that came out of it is we are changing the day of the week that we meet. We've been meeting on the third Thursday of the month, and there are some a couple of conflicts on Thursday. So we're changing to the third Tuesday of the month, which the next meeting will be on February 21st at the Rotary headquarters, at, formerly known as Brian Lewis's uh, Insurance offices. Actually, it is not right. We just took it over. So. Uh, <laughs> the other thing is uh, uh, nothing to report on Skyline. Uh, that project will be at, done in the spring, and uh, we need to get weather to be able to do it. So uh, we'll work on it, and we'll get uh, we'll get everything going. That's it. Okay. Thanks. And then. Don's busy. So they don't have anything here this time. So okay. Okay. Good. Thanks. <clears throat> and then uh, going into the committee chair reports, we have club services with Ron. Ron, we're good. 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 So I, I think we'll have a party sometime over at the brewery. <laughs> Anyhow. And Brian, I didn't see Brian here. I think his wife is kind of going through some surgery things, so he's probably Take care of that. Uh, Jim Steinreck's not here. Foundation, I guess it's all good. Uh, Linda. All good. <laughs> good. <clears throat> Great, all good. Okay, good. And then Kyle, membership. Uh, yeah, so we have a new member that we have, uh, the board approved last night, uh, Anthony Pauley. So that was officially approved. Hey. We'll get a packet going for you for not. I told him he owed me a hundred bucks. It took a hundred bucks to get all of you to agree to it. I told him when I won the four hundred and something today. There you go. Ah. I like that. And then we have another member that actually reached out there. That's from Linwood. That's actually um, wants to transfer to our club. It's Bob Hauser and Stevens. Uh, but currently they're on their way to the Caribbean. They're going to Palm Springs for a month. And then in March they would like to officially. Uh, participate in the club. So that will be happening shortly. Uh, I can find the name actually, but it's been through a weird way because we're receiving this way. But as I'm getting that, the next thing is um, the application that we updated for Rotary. It's actually complete. Um, it's actually now an HTML put yeah, into right. a code that I put onto our, our <clears throat> Rotary Club that allows anyone to fill out the application and submit it. It goes straight to us without having to print it anymore. Um, it will be able to be digital signature from there. So it makes it more, much more user friendly and more than you know, 2023 IRS. 
November, I got cleared out. All right. So the reason I asked is because I joined Rotary in that club. Oh, cool. Okay. Thanks, Kyle. <clears throat> and then we, I think, Kristen on, right? Kristen? Wow. Hi. Good morning. Hello, everybody. You're, you're muted. Unmute. No, I'm muted. unmuted. Oh, I promise I'm unmuted. <laughs> I don't want this job. <laughs> I can hear you, Kristen. Thank you, Tracy. <laughs> we'll see you guys. <laughs> Keep talking. Excellent. Yeah. I'm going with you. <laughs> that. Yeah, nothing like a little graphic on <laughs> Can you still hear us, Kristen? I, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Awesome. <laughs> Chris gets a B minus today. <laughs> okay, good. So, Kristen, do you have anything about Interact? Um, we had a fabulous meeting on uh, Wednesday. I think people there could probably report more than I can. And um, I have Josie here today so she can hear about the Youth Exchange Program, which we're really excited about. Um, and I, I have a couple of kids that are interested in Yale, but they have not um, made steps forward, but I hope to hopefully get that squared away by the end of the month. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> so just to let you know, our program person called in sick today. Oh, no. Yeah. So anyhow, we'll be trying, trying to put up a video and, and show that, so. It's not a video about this student exchange. It'll be a video about something else that you decide. So anyhow. <clears throat> any Chris and Kristen, can I add just a little bit yeah. to the vocational? Yeah. Um, so watch for an email from me. I'll try to get it out in the next week. It's time to start working on our vocational yeah. scholarships again. So the first thing that I'll do is send an email to the group of who wants to be on the vocational committee this year. Um, and then uh, we'll schedule a first meeting, and what we will do is review the application and the criteria that we had from this last year and decide if that's what we want to use going forward or if we'll make some edits to that. Okay. So just stay tuned in the next week or so, uh, okay. and I'll get that out. Okay. <laughs> Our subscription ran out with Chris. But... <laughs> <laughs> On the box. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. you guys not learning how to scream? That was really like coming back. Very temporary. <laughs> oh, we gotta get these ball plates fixed. <laughs> yeah, they probably did on real life. Can you just okay, see it? What are you looking at me for? <laughs> <laughs> Your screwdriver works just as well as mine does. <laughs> Okay, so the so scouting thing is, I don't know if James has anything to add to scouts, but they are trying to rebuild a PAC, PAC 80 that we sponsor. So they're having a big uh, recruitment night on the 31st of this month over there at the Grange by Tom Thumb. So that's kind of in progress and ready to go. And I believe the flyers went to the school, so that's all out there. And maybe we should send flyers like three days before the event. So anyhow. <clears throat> There's that. And then we do have um, an exchange student, Josie over here in the corner, as you say, hi. Um, she's our exchange student to go over to Europe and we're setting that all up and I've got a lot of training to do and stuff like that. I've taken some classes. <clears throat> Are you not to or? No, <laughs> I'm like the youth organizer person. And that's a, a position where you gotta take a lot of training and because it's not just rotary, when you start exchanging students to different countries, that becomes a government kind of a thing, an issue to make sure everything and the visas are in order and she's getting ready to go to school. So when her counterpart comes over here to Lake Stevens, part of my job as the youth organizer is to make sure Ken 
she gets enrolled in school. <laughs> Those kind of things. And watch your bank account and all that stuff. And I didn't realize that that's quite a job, but and there's a lot of classes to take. So I've taken a few, and there's another one that has to do with the Washington state law. It's about almost a hundred pages. <clears throat> and then you get tested on that. So Ron, can you take the test for me? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So anyhow, so that's going to be pretty exciting. I, and I think Josie's pretty excited. And I don't remember if you have a country yet or not. I know there was some. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. yeah. Are you excited about that? Yeah, I'm very excited. And the country that I was placed into is Norway. So oh, good. I'm very yeah. excited for that. Yeah, you wanna, I think you, you want to talk yeah. about your grandfather? My yeah, my grandfather's from Norway and he's been through the roof just talking nonstop about it. And he'll try Norwegian. conversations in Norwegian with me and I I will answer I will reply with Jeg liker frukost which means I like breakfast. So <laughs> I'll, I'll say something back. Ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try it. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. Question for Josie. Do you know where you're going in Norway? I have not found my exact placement yet. We'll find out in March or April-ish, but I will report back when I find out soon. And what's the duration of time that you're there? I chose to stay an entire year, so I'll be gone from August to July. Yeah. Can we come and visit? <laughs> <laughs> yes, everyone can come and visit, as long as we <laughs> Happen to bump into one another at a coffee shop by chance? <laughs> I think we should have a late June Friday meeting there. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. the bill? Yeah, yeah the, how about the, the, or the, the solstice? Yeah, the sol oh, summer solstice would be, would be good. Yeah, yeah. So we could come over for that. That'd be awesome. It'd be hopefully warm there. <clears throat> That's really cool. I know she's got a lot of homework and prep and things like that to get going just to get there let alone trying to enroll in a school and stuff like that. Do you know the schools, do they speak English or is it Norwegian? So Nor Norwegian students have been learning English since what would be equivalent to kindergarten for us. So they're very proficient in English, but they're going to be mainly speaking Norwegian because that is like the language of Norway. Um, but I... My mom and I have done some research and it shows that Norwegians, once they realize you're a foreigner, especially from America, they like to speak English towards you. So what are like the struggles, I guess, would be just consistently like staying in Norwegian for me. So I could yeah. actually learn and immerse myself into that culture. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's really neat to go back to a country like where your roots are from, kind of on one side. So that's really cool. <clears throat> so yeah, well, good luck with everything. And we'll have you come here before you leave, maybe, and talk to us in person, maybe, if that's a possibility. Yes, I would love to do that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Okay. So let's moving on here. <clears throat> We have uh, public relations. We're working through that. And the IT guy, Chris Martin. Yay. Yeah, Yay. Hey, yeah. Appreciate <laughs> it. Came with the screwdriver. Yeah, right. <clears throat> and I don't see Kendra on there, but she's been working to get uh, program speakers. Uh, Club communications. Mm -hmm. Nothing there. I'm not sure. Okay. And then. Um, all is good. All is good. That. Okay. And any last minute? Comments from Tracy on applications and things of that sort? <clears throat> what? No, um, I think we finalized the application form. So thanks again to all those who helped with it. Um, I kind of like being, you know, the, the lead on this because I basically just hear you guys fix it and I get a really good copy back. So I didn't have to do much. <laughs> well, so it's ready. For... I, I don't know what you want to do with it next. So yeah, well, we thank, thank you. you for leadership on that and, and being the chair of the committee because it's important to all of us and the community 
<clears throat> and um, you know, as we talked about putting a one line thing on there about when your applications due or when the money will be paid out, we decided just not to put that on there, just so you all know that. And we could, if an application comes in like it did last time, uh, and they're requesting money for April, we'll either decide yes or no, or the bottom line is we're gonna stick with what we had before, which was <clears throat> in June, we did the major payouts. So <clears throat> we're sticking with that. Just yeah, to let so you know. just once a year rather than going you know, twice a year. Yeah, unless there's a certain circumstance, just. So does that mean you can apply anytime during the year, but the rotary is gonna consider uh, funding those at the end of the year? Yes. Okay. Right. Unless there's certain circumstances the community deems reliable that they need money you know, okay. earlier. I think the problem, the only problem with that is then people that submit early are going to get all the commitments. And then uh, when May comes along and you get an incredibly good request, you've already given it away. And it seems yeah. like, a, yeah, you really need to wait and look at everything once. Yeah. And, uh, Judge that Did you hear all that? Can you hear us pretty good? Okay. <clears throat> so we're good on that. Thanks for spearheading that. And now we have Jim Hagan. Oh, I see. Okay. He's surfing. Yeah. I'm borrowing his name match. <laughs> Uh, I don't know where mine is. I will be paying fine for that. <laughs> All right, let's do a little drawing. Is it too late to buy? Too late to buy. No, wait, it's never too late. Run. 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 Too late. Can I buy some? Yeah. Uh, well, no, I don't, I don't, mean, mean, I don't know. Sorry. I was too busy setting up the meeting. You know that? If he wins, he's definitely forfeiting. Okay, while Chris, while Chris is buying his tickets, let's draw up. If you can tell me a joke, tell us a joke. You will be exempt from fines. Who's got a joke? Five, four. <clears throat> Don, you're good. Let's hear All right. Um, what's a Viking's favorite restaurant? <laughs> what? That's great. You should be excited. <laughs> She should be exempt from fine. Yeah. 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 It took me to a sense. I take offense to this joke. That's a pirate's face. Seven, five, two, three, eight, three. Oh, one line. Get the gun. Get the gun. You're going to win, right? That's what you said. I mean, we obviously didn't hear it. Wow. Oh, oh you said that. Uh, you no, won. No. You won. Good job. Well, I'm like Chris once. Now you're going to see me. This is complicated. You just finally realized it. Yeah. All right. Don got lucky because I'm, I'm feeling a little edgy this morning. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing really edgy. So what else is new? <laughs> And so I, I think I'm thinking about going old school on fines. Oh, Ken, don't you think we should go old school? Today? Old school is definitely the way to go. Yeah. So who who was first in the door this morning? No, I wasn't first in that. Door. I would say that. Here's my Two of us were first in the door. Who, who was that? All right. I'm sorry. That's dollar. <laughs> Because we're first in the door. That's the two eager fine. I gave you up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really did let ladies to her. All right. So who was who was last in? Yeah. Who was last in? I think it was Kyle. Chris Smith. Oh, shut <laughs> down. Wow. I know the Why you got to see it? The man will just the switch at the last minute. <laughs> I'm only Yeah. I think uh, I don't want to risk right. it. Who, uh, who ate breakfast before the meeting? If you ate breakfast, that's a dollar. Yeah. Are you offering my breakfast after the meeting? No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right. 
Joyce, <coughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, pins and badges. Who has your pins? And, if you do not have a pin or badge, I'm going in. Very thank you to Jim Hagen. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, here we go. Old school. Who wore anything Seahawks today? I <laughs> So, are we going reverse since the Seahawks are playing? If you have something Seahawks oriented, your hand, is that, is that the direction we should go? I didn't put my shirt on. Today, so. <laughs> if you have something Seahawks, I, you're paying. <laughs> Learn. Oh, <laughs> right, if you have a Tesla or another electric vehicle, that's a dollar. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Nobody else has electric vehicles. Any electric thing about money? Hybrid counts. Hybrid? I don't have hybrid. Like you know, a hybrid does count. Hybrid. Does count. Yeah, who's yeah. got a hybrid here? Nobody. Anybody oh, thinking about buying a vehicle? <laughs> 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 okay, who has a gas vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> if you have, if you are wearing two watches. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hell. Who's got two watches in here? Hey, that listen. would be a buck. I, I should you know, know what about it's on that. I'm not going to do a two timer. Oh, 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 if somebody asks me the time, I've got my, I've got it covered. <laughs> Adios. Oh, 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 <laughs> Ken, we were talking earlier. Yes, um, we were. <laughs> You're running out. Can you help me out? <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we should ask everybody to to uh, to recite the Norwegian in honor of uh, Josie going to Norway. The Norwegian. Uh, uh, football chant. Oh, why why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? We really want to do this together, don't we? Yeah, of course. Okay. All right. All right. And then, and then I'll pay a five dollar fine if everybody can all do this together. Okay. Ludafisk, uh, ready? Yeah. Okay. Ludafisk, Ludafisk, left scud, left scud, V bump the touchdown. Yasher, you betcha. <laughs> Happy bucks, if you like. Would, yeah. would you guys like to do happy bucks? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm Let's happy. happy so I discovered um, Facebook Marketplace, and slowly everything is disappearing out of the house because I can sell everything. I'm really excited. <laughs> <That's pretty cool. laughs> yeah. I, I have these chicken waters that I was going to try to get rid of. I've had probably 20 inquiries over on these things. What anyway, chicken waterers. It's a water oh. container you put in their yard. And, they never worked well for us, so I was like, hey, you know, 10 bucks. I've had my phone's been dinging ever since. So anyway, things are coming along good. Get ready for um, mom's little house to be moved in. And we're getting very close next Saturday. 
we can borrow the house cup in. Right. So yeah, cool. It'll be good. Sir, I don't know what the uh, okay. the testing that was in the garage all last week. Oh. It didn't get out, but it came out today. Did you dust it? Did you dust it all? I did. I, did, I saved that for you. <laughs> <laughs> but it needs dusting. Needs dusting, okay. Uh, happy to be here. I'm going to track convention this weekend. So I'm going to be a better coach after this. God, I hope so. Good morning, state champions. And uh, no, no parade for us. No parade for us. Football gets a parade, but no parade for track. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> yeah. Really? And the cheer squad never comes out for you? Right? Yeah, yeah. Or no baseball, cheer squad, tennis. no parade. Why is that? No love for track or yeah. wrestling. And you have more team members. <laughs> exactly. Happy to be here and happy our technology is not working. Yes, yeah. so are you. <laughs> yes, I'm happy everybody's here. It's a pretty good crowd. Everybody helps out. And here again, the technology crowd are here helping out because we're going to have a video thing soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll just come right back here. This is still right. Yeah, fabulous table. I'm happy that we're all going to Norway in a few months. <laughs> Thanks, Don. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, this is for the uh, anniversary of the Tesla. So congrats on that. And I'm just happy you were a great club. It was a great city. Happy it's Friday. It looks like it's going to be sunny. Go back and like this. Go back and track. Yes. <laughs> uh, a couple of things together. One, uh, Lori, you could throw in an extra dollar. I We had a Facebook marketplace at a huge sub one, and my team. Fixed the deployment yesterday. Oh, yeah. So you're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, we, Amy and myself, and some others from Creator Zone met up with uh, Interact earlier this oh. week and met the whole club, uh, presented Creator Zone to them. It was really exciting to see all the kids get really passionate about their oh. hobbies and what they can do and make at the Creator Zone. Uh, they gave us tons of great feedback of like what they would like to see in the space how to use the space, um, what they're passionate about. So it's gonna be a really great partnership. And then the other partnership with the school is the Robotics Club, and they're doing a big competition tomorrow. We're gonna go out there and support them and uh, work with them because a lot of those kids are really passionate about making electronics, but they only have a limited time when the school's open to work on it. And Creator Zone will be a space for them to go to to continue chasing that passion even in school. Wow. Awesome. <clears throat> That's, That's great. Cool. Great. So, yeah. Super excited. Yeah. Yeah. Today's Friday, and I'll be going to the school center today. <laughs> I need Terry. Garden that they have over here at the kids. I'm happy to see that Lauren was able to get his car out today. <laughs> the Tesla. That's a good thing. And I'm waiting for Chris to get his electronic car for comparison. Which Chris? Any car. CS. <laughs> No, I've got yeah, tons of three them. car down payments, and all three of them are EVs, and I will receive them all at the end of this year. Oh my! <laughs> what are they? I have a, a Rivian S1, which is a, like an SUV, and then a Porsche Taycan, which is a like an electric sports car, and then this is really exciting: uh, a DeLorean. The DeLorean was remade, wow. new Alpha Five model, fully electric. It's wow. pretty. Epic. Uh, that I probably won't get till 2024, but down payments. You know, you can time travel. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know what it does? Everybody? It comes with a bracelet, and you can give your bracelet to a loved one. And if they kiss it, there's little air blows on the back of the chair that will blow on their neck. And if they hug it, 
the seat actually wraps and hugs you, oh. and it matches your seat temperature with the person's body heat. Wow. So it is like a car Sherwood Gala is April 1st. Uh, we're going to do it at Tulalip this year. I think Eileen talked to you guys a little bit about that. Cool. Uh, but stay tuned for more details. Cool. That's a great venue. <clears throat> Anybody else want to share anything? Anything else? Yeah. 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 I've had a crazy week, probably one of the most challenging weeks I've ever had. Um, just like thankful for my family and their support. And I'm still dry in January, mostly. And you're <laughs> <laughs> not jumping in the lake, or oh, <laughs> <laughs> drinking alcohol. <laughs> Aside from the first weekend, that was pre-planned, so that's why it's mostly. Yeah. Um, I'm so happy for the video I have on my phone now. Oh, you yeah. can't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll be <laughs> Here's the five dollars back. Get back in there. I'm also doing the same thing with uh, Amy and some of our friends. I'm totally dry for January, which is new. Yeah. Doing good. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> and since we're on the electric car talk, I'm glad that our Tesla <laughs> stock finally, after being down 61 percent over the past year, is actually on an upward tick and worth a, a whopping 130 dollars now. So yeah, good conversation. Our investment club meeting on Saturday. So I'm happy. With it. Yeah. I'm happy. With that. Short and sweet here today, and I'm just happy that uh, the energy in this room is awesome today. Yeah, like it. Yeah. Uh, I close them all. Report on your team of those good, and we got two more sessions. That'll be done. Ron, how are you? I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm just happy to hear about all the happy things going on in the our creator zone, Sherwood, and the, the dry January. I'm pretty envious. Yeah. I'm not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy about that. <laughs> you're happy about not being close, or you're happy about that? It's been fun. <laughs> not that much fun. They, 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 they say you live longer. Yeah, yeah. it's been all. I'm happy that Amy took me up this morning and I'm happy she brought a check me to the Y, the Everett Y. Oh, good. Happy to go. So, are you going to run on the track or are you going to swim a triathlon? Yes. <laughs> yes. I can do it all. Right on. Great. Cool. Um, I'm happy I'm here. Sorry I've been, apology about kind of, sorry I've been gone for a couple of weeks. I have lots of Friday morning meetings, so apologize for that. Um, I'm happy that uh, I get to work with the awesome people at the, our, the City of Lake Stevens and Regional Fire and Lake Stevens Police Department. Um, we have a really strong partnership, and I really appreciate that. Um, this week, had a lot of meetings with the city, and and they've just they've just been great working with us this year. Um, lots of traffic mitigation problem challenges that we're working through um, caused by you know school uh, morning and afternoon backup so we're working on that and I, and I think it's really great the, the work that we're doing the partnership that we have um, I would like to uh, think I think a great fundraiser would be a contest to name uh, Lauren's car because calling it the Tesla is is okay, but it's just like every <laughs> other Tesla, right? <laughs> Your car needs to have a name, Lauren, a and name. I think we ought to have a, a naming contest for Lauren's car. Um, so, so I, I think I would be in all over that. So anyway, and then uh, final uh, buck is just my kids are all gone out of the house um, for right now, anyway. <laughs> one's flying, one's out at sea, and one's at WSU. So 
Yeah. Well, well, Harvard that's was. another way to be out at sea. WSC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you've ever been there, but there's no water in sight. <laughs> cool. Uh, I've got a happy five uh, this morning here uh, about 13 minutes ago. The two O'Brien boys just got off duty. So Daniel started his first shift at South County oh, and awesome. Keenan and, and Maryville. And they ended up on the same shift schedule. So wow. it was, it was pretty, cool. pretty cool. Uh, yeah. yeah. So and then uh, we're actually going to have all, all the boys will be here this weekend. It's Keenan's birthday. A couple of picking up Colin today from the UW to hang out with us. So we'll have a household. Oh, oh, thank you. I am sorry. I apologize. Tracy, you look very happy. I'm very happy. Thank you to Amy for picking up Joyce. I, I love to share that wonderful Joyce around. You know, everybody can have a chance to pick her up and take her out, take her out to lunch. Lots of fun. I uh, have a happy, I'll Venmo happy $5. I'm heading to Bozeman this, after, this morning. Uh, I'm going to meet up with Dave and then some friends who used to live out here. So it's going to be a fun, fun weekend. So Ooh. thank you. Right on. Have fun. Yeah. Hey, Larry. Hey there. I forget your name, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> O'Brien comes to mind. But... <laughs> Jim Hagen. <laughs> They make it. <laughs> Jim oh, thank you, Jim. Oh, sorry, I got it all wrong. <laughs> I was thinking Irish, and 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 here you are, Haugen. <laughs> How's it going? How are you doing? Pretty good. It's sunny here, but but it's only forty three. So, but we're we're supposed to get up to maybe fifty eight. You know. Good. 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 Looking Good. Nice. Well, you look happy. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the mask I chose this morning. <laughs> Can you prove it? You want proof? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want proof of your happiness. <laughs> well, I'm 80 proof. <laughs> There you go. Okay. Oh, Penny, thank you. Pennies count, don't they? <laughs> yes. All right. Nobody else is out there. It looks like so it, it, I'll, I'll send in some happy bucks. Awesome. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate that. Good work for that one. Awesome. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So we'll try this video out. We have a Kendra or Don actually in Pets who's going through the training. They have a, a video link that has a bunch of videos on there. Maybe we can kind of first consumers, uh, Tracy and Larry. Um, we're going to just move the camera so you can see the big screen because we have to use a different computer with a different hotspot to retrieve the video. So we're we're making do here. Uh oh, uh oh, plug it, guys. No, that's okay, that's, that's planned. That's intended. That's one of the few things that was planned. Today. <laughs> it's the half the screen. Yeah, we see the bottom half of the screen. Right, even that matter. Uh oh, is that not the right adapter? I think you brought the wrong adapter. <laughs> Give it on the camera up. HDMI. Let me check my office real quick. All right. Hey, Chris. Um, do we want to do a 10 minute? Yeah. We're looking at Don's butt. Ten or short. <laughs> the face was worse, so <laughs> even on the butt side. <laughs> Let's try this. I think Lance's phone signed out, so we're actually put that up. I'll get Lance stuff. Yeah. 
make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. We need to find the Lance's phone. Just a blind. Uh, that should have been the right one. Oh, right. Yeah, it's too late. You So, try it out. Got any ideas of being bigger party? Maybe I just try promoting the sound. Again, right off the first day, it's adjusted nature. It's unsustainable. Well, we can't draw the winner right away. It's a very small piece of the winner. All right. Okay, there are choices. We'll go down to 10 minutes. The whole yeah, thing. Okay, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I put it on the website. Yeah. We could go to the accountability. So, everybody, here's some choices we can look. We got 10 minutes, and there was one up on the very top about uh, responsibility and accountability. So, if you guys see something you like, we could watch it. We could try to watch it. So, that's step two. <clears throat> I don't see Seinfeld. Holding <laughs> each other accountable. That's only four minutes. Oh, yeah, so okay. these these are all ten minutes. Or ten minutes. Yeah, it looks like Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Okay. What was that? Top left. Okay. Let's do that one. We all in agreement. Well, everybody Yay. loves it. But... I love this crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the great strength of the is its global reach, and yet its local action. So in reaching out to communities, we need to think about how people get their information. Like it or loathe it, Facebook is being used by many, many people, um, not just individually, but also via community pages. So each town will have its community, often linked to buying and selling items, local information, what's on, uh, and Rotary can play a big part in that. It's important that we ensure that the posts are locally focused, uh, that they are clearly benefiting the local community, and that we don't uh, issue too many, um, uh, too high a frequency of posts to become a nuisance. So I would encourage people to look at your local community Facebook pages and use them appropriately could be a great benefit to us. We are expanding our reach by collaborating with the other two Rotary Clubs in our community and other like-minded organizations. For our club, collaboration is one of our core beliefs that emerged during our visioning exercise because we value it so much. It fundamentally means first building solid relationships with these organizations, which is a very intentional time commitment on our part. The benefits are many. We pool our financial and manpower resources, allowing us to engage in large projects that address real community needs and have a lasting impact. Examples are a splash pad, an all-inclusive playground, and a field of dreams, which is a baseball field with a soft surface, bleachers, a concession stand, and parking that serve handicapped children and adults alike and the disabled veterans in our community. We're currently working on two other projects and are proud that our county executive calls Rotary the go-to organization to get things done. What have we learned? Well, we've learned to include project players early on in project development to get buy-in and support. We've learned it's important to become somewhat skilled at grant writing, both for Rotary grants and other grants that are out there and available. We've also learned very much that it doesn't matter who gets the credit. These are very win-win situations that feel so great for all of us. And in the end, we know that this approach to expanding our reach really speaks to the four-way test in building goodwill and better friendships and being beneficial to all concerned. 
at the Rotary Club of Braids in Edinburgh, we hold two or three times a year Discover Rotary events. And they are strictly an hour. The event is a two part presentation. The first one of our members simply talks about where we meet, what the club does, how it operates. And the other is a selection of short video clips from rotary.org and some images of projects that we have undertaken. And we're particular about the name Discover Rotary because we target invitations to people that we think will be able to help us, but probably don't know much about Rotary. So we want them to come along, find out more about Rotary. Some of them go on to join us, but we expand our reach by making connections with targeted individuals and businesses that we have chosen that we feel can help us with projects at home or abroad. The pandemic brought to our club various communication challenges. We look at what the business is doing to adapt and discover the benefits of an AI chatbot. It basically replaces a website and a mobile app and allows users to find information about the club and Rotary by simply asking a question. With the Rotary AI chatbot, we have now innovative mobile presence online and easy access to up-to-date information about the club and Rotary for the club members and the community. This digital tool makes us visible to young people, partners and donors and will help us attract new members and train them easier. Our AI chatbot has more than 90 cards on various topics about the club and Rotary, such as club projects, calendar, contacts, Rotary programs, area of focus, membership, and more. There are also several forms. The conversational AI model needs further training to become fully functional, but even today, it can answer questions on over 100 topics in three languages. Please contact me if you would like to learn more about the Rotary AI chatbot. In 2019, my Rotary Club considered handing in our charter. My husband offered to be the president with conditions. Sadly, we lost five members who opposed change. The priority was to build a club that the members wanted. The strategy was to form a board of members with less than five years service. We had a three to five year plan to expand our reach by empowering and encouraging new members to bring in new ideas, projects, leadership styles, and ever important social activity, utilizing the skills, interest, and community connections of the new members. The process was to better utilize social media, marketing, modern governance, and financial recording foundation and government grants, short membership events, district training and engagement. Our results are 12 new members joined in that first year. Another 14 have joined since then with a retention rate of 89%. Many are referrals and from our Facebook presence. The plan is successful with a president-elect, a president-elect nominee, both with full boards, primarily with five years or less experience, both great leaders. Now we boast 23 females, 19 males, and nine members on district roles. Our charter is safe. I invite you to have a look at our Facebook page, the Rotary Club of East Maitland. We are expanding our reach by by using the diversity, equity and inclusion mode, we've approached the disability sector. Obviously, we've approached various nationalities. Uh, we're, we're involved with several business networking groups. Uh, we've also got diversity through targeting specific areas. But in one particular instance, we have a satellite, which is the chefs with disabilities. So, you know, specifically targeting chefs, but those that have a disability, whether it's Down syndrome, autism, or they're in a wheelchair or whatever. But we've got that opportunity and we're slowly building up numbers and we're hoping to make greater inroads uh, simply because we're trying to be inclusive in every aspect. When COVID shut down community events, we could no longer host outreach tables. So we set out to improve our tools in order to attract people to club membership. We thought creating a unique business card 
might help us achieve this goal. The challenge was fitting all the valuable information onto this space. The front is simple and it contains a blank space for a personal touch. Here, a member can offer their name and contact information. A QR code can be a quick way to get someone to your website or application form. The backside is welcoming with an invitation to our weekly meetings. This site also invites the person to explore our websites and social media accounts. Some other takeaways. The card itself is portable, easy on the budget, and easy to update. The demographics for every club is diverse. This is what drove us to a creative solution to expand our reach. Some three years ago, the Rotary Club of Ballina on Richmond decided to take our club in a different direction. We wanted to be more relevant in our town. We wanted to also engage our members more and also engage with our community more. What we decided to do was connect with social justice causes in our town. We identified three causes, those being domestic violence, mental health and homelessness. While we work across those three um, social justice areas, domestic violence has become our number one project at the moment. And it's interesting when we look forward now three years to where we are today, where, where our club has come from, by identifying with these causes. What we have found that we have created far more impact and we have so much more relevance in our town. And that has had a dramatic, dramatic effect on our membership. Our positive growth in 18 months was, was 20. We grew our membership by 20 members in 18 months. We, we did not at any stage think that that would have been possible. Many of those members that joined our club were women who, who so much connected with our domestic violence um, campaign. So I would like to share this story with you all to say, by connecting with causes that are relevant in your town, you can very much increase your impact and, and grow your membership. Team Chris Martin over here and Don for putting that all together. That's good. We have a link now. We've got some other videos we can see, and they kind of talked about club dynamics and operations and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Leading into, I'm going to be sending everybody a survey once we get the questions out there so people can check the boxes and then we'll, we'll publicize that anonymously. And so it'll give us some direction on where we should go as a club. Anyhow, any questions for uh, the good of the club? Seeing none, meeting adjourned. Thanks for that inspirational song, Ken. <laughs>
This alarm system needs to be inspected, slash installed, whatever, by a technician. And so, by the way, so so the only organization or the bad thing is they should have a lot of times they need to be replaced. Yeah, so you know what happened. I am going to talk to the pastor and the church. So, but then really, the occupancy that I feel. I've got a, one of my apps on my home computer. I can screen record a movie. 
Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to volunteer Kendra that if she wants to have you know video, I'll just basically run it at home or to put a flash drive. Okay. So it can just be plugged in. Yeah. And, you know, we don't have this issue. You don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> so anytime you want. Um, Actually, if you want to do it now with this computer, I'll show you kind of the simple process. Okay. Um, I'll plug it back in. Yeah. Make sure we got a full battery. I'm just going to close everything down.